Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome! Welcome, welcome to Ultimate Apocalypse, one of the best mods for Dawn of War 1. Not 2, for 1. This takes the game and puts it at the apocalyptic, you know, size, the scale. Because I guess in the miniature game, I don't play the miniature game, but in the miniature one, there's a uh, Apocalypse rule set where you can play with these massive armies. And that's what the mod author set out to do with this mod. So I'm joined with Mr. Smith. What's up, dude? Hola. We are about to play against the Tyranids. You ready for this? If I tell you yes, will it inspire you? No. Because oh, I know well, you're full good. of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're the Tyranid. <laughs> Even though this is our second try to do this. So, the Tyranid <laughs> are actually part of the mod. They were a separate mod that's been integrated into this mod. Uh, they are not normally in Dawn of War 1, you can see here. The models are actually pretty good. I mean, for such a crazy race. Let's see here. I'm in the, uh, the army painter. So, you know, you can have them in different colors and you can paint your own army. This is what we're fighting against, not who I'm playing as. Uh, let's see. Here's a Lictor. Flip through some of the units. I don't like them. <laughs> There's a Biovorus. Looks like some type of artillery something. I don't even know. So, fun times. Mortar of Doom. I, of course, am playing as the Imperial Guardsman. So, I think the general looks goofy. There you go. The Dagger Wolves painted them up. Got the kind of stormtrooper like colors. Got my wolf symbols over here. My wolf flag. Definitely badass. I can't click on MD Shizzy here, Mr. Smith. Who are you playing as? Uh, Necron. Necron. So, we've only played a little bit of this mod. This is actually, we're playing this so I can get used to it. So, we can kind of get an idea of the things he's changed in the 1.73 patch, which just came out. Uh, there's a lot to this mod. So, if you've never played it, it changes the game completely. If you have played it, the 1.73 patch is huge. Let's go ahead and get started, and we'll talk about some of the differences as this game gets going. Like we said, this is our second try. Why are you gonna bring that up? We got wrecked on our first try. We actually dropped one of the AI because they just killed Smith. I was fine, but he just got wrecked. Yeah, it's because they were swarming me. And the neck run? Incredibly strong, incredibly slow to get started up, though. Yeah, that's the. I the can't thing. even build a soldier at first. I have to actually build a uh, building to allow the research to do it. So let me queue up a couple things, and then I'm gonna zoom in on your base, and we can talk about who you're playing as. Get my conscripts building. Who you got going on here? Uh, I got the Necron over here. I've got a uh, couple of builder scarabs that are being built for my pyramid right there, and the one that I've actually got out there is building a summoning core, which will allow me to actually pull in my Necron Lord and a couple various um, soldier varieties. So the Necron, we were saying this earlier, the Necron are the undead terminators. Yeah, yeah they're voodoo terminators. Voodoo terminators. <laughs> Zombie terminators. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're so ridiculous. Voodoo terminators. I got this. All right. So I got conscripts. Now here's a big change. This is a conscript unit. Very cheap. Not actually soldiers, just civilians. But look how many I get and how fast they build. Yeah, it's a little absurd. You can get a whole platoon of them. But they're really bad. I mean, no, 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 they're great. They're oh, they're bad. They're not even soldiers, man. <laughs> they, they, uh, they're they're the just guys. They gave a gun and said, "Here, go over there." Oh, so ridiculous. Like, so to give you an idea with the Imperial Guard, they get the Space Marines. When people think Dawn of War, when they think of uh, Warhammer 40k, they think Space Marines, the genetically engineered super soldiers with the best gear and equipment. Okay, so that's them. These guys are Bob the Farmer in a flak vest. <laughs> that's these guys. You know what? Bob was lucky he got that flak vest, okay? I'm just saying... Budget concerns, he almost didn't get it. He almost just didn't even get that? No. Oh, man. They, they were close. Bob almost didn't get it. I'm gonna go after that relic. Looks like I'm, um, I'm below you. Yeah. I'm a little sad I'm not up where you're at, because my artillery cannons would have been nice a little higher. But that's okay. Hey, hey, you feel free to bring over some artillery cannons here if you want. I could just roll them over. So let's get us an infantry command. We'll talk about some of the things uh, with the Imperial Guard. And the Necrons. 
lock down our points. So for these guys, and not all the races work this way, there's like nine races in this game. So in all of them play differently. Uh, mine resource, like you don't even have capture point resource, do you? No, I just have uh, power that I'm working off of here. So I've got requisition, requi da, 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 da. I've got requisition resources. Uh, capturing points to get them. He doesn't get that at all. He has to worry about power because he's actually not building things. He's restoring them. Like, that's his pyramid buried underground. I just got to turn the power back on. So he's all about getting the power back on. That's one of the reasons why he's so slow to start. He also starts with heavy infantry once he can build them, which takes me a little bit to get to. Speaking of which, they're, uh, they're about to be building. All right, locking down my base with a couple of um, turrets. The Imperial Guard are really good at holding a point. They can defend like no other. Initiating construction. Take this relic. Let's move these infantry. Oh, oh damn. What's up? <laughs> I, I got really excited there for a minute because there, I went wolf. to uh, build a Goss turret. And it didn't cost anything. The first one was free. Oh. Everybody gets one. Uh, I need more power plants, it looks like. Where's my builder? He's busy. So is that one. There we go. Got some turrets up. I like the wolf on the front. Very cool. Such a great game. You're still capping points. So some of the things that they've changed while we're waiting for stuff to build. In the newest version, they've added a new hero unit, the Fire Support Lieutenant, uh, who's a chick. Just go ahead and pop her out. Let's build that. And I'll build a couple more Imperial Guardsmen. They've added the ability to build walls, and you can upgrade them with a ton of research to give them more health. But I noticed they've taken away the ability to put gun turrets on top of them. Ah, oh, those are tier two. I can't actually build those just yet. I'll build them later. Here she is. I actually really like this model. I think it's uh, it's very detailed. Let me zoom in on her. There we go. And you can upgrade her with gear and equipment. She gets a tank? Really? She gets a tank. I'm gonna level nice. her up a bit. And she does get gear, too. That's cool. Yeah, this is part of the mod. This isn't a normal game. Uh, individual units will level up, like just these troops in the background here, who are legit Imperial Guardsman troops. Go ahead and start flushing out their unit. And they'll level up by getting kills. She levels up by spending money, and then you can buy gear. So level three required for gear. I'm actually broke right now, and I can't do that. I am going to need a relic. Oh, yes. All right, yeah, gotta get them relics. Relics have been changed. You don't just have to hold a relic to build uh, the relic units. Now they have points that you build up by capturing relics and by doing research. Then you can build the relic units and there's a ton of relic units. So when I selected this unit here, this is the conscripts, you see unit rank level one. If they manage to get some kills, which I doubt they will because they suck. <laughs> no, they're good, they're good. It's good since you guys out. There's research with those guys because they're so cheap to build them for free as Imperial Guardsmen. Alright, we're going to add you to this squad and we're going to research medics because I really like having medics. Oddly enough, she has the voice of the... Uh, what are the chicks? Oop, we're being engaged. The, um... Uh, sisters of it? Yeah. Yeah, she has the voice of them, so she'll scream sisters this and sisters that, and it's a little awkward when she's surrounded by dudes. I know what these Tyranids are she doing. just really doesn't think highly of them. Well, look what she's surrounded by. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my poor Touché. troops. <laughs> Touché. Oh, my infantry. Imperial Guardsmen infantry are a joke, but they have the best armor in the game. So it's kind of a balancing act. Yeah, well, you know, when you get a tank like the Bane Blade, you, yeah. That's your command. What more do you need? Bane I mean, Blade. honestly. Or like, the five really? different versions of Bane Blade that these guys get. <laughs> yeah. Tell me that isn't awesome. I, I would, but, you know, I'd be lying. Yeah, there's, um... There's a Bane Blade that has this gigantic, like, sniper cannon on it. There's one that has just, like, multiple mini turrets all over it. Depending on what you need, there's a Bane Blade for it. We've got a tank for that. 
Really? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, what, that's what we're going with here. We have a tank for that. Uh, why, why not? Let's upgrade these. We can get some more uh, resources coming in. Yes, my lord. We'll get 40 troops right here. 40 infantrymen. Yes, now it's lord. 40. Yes, my lord. Um, let's engage these guys. Keep them from capping that base. Keep chasing them around. So we're leveling up now. So there's a button here, Ultimate Apocalypse. I'm gonna click it and you guys can hear the mod dev talk about his mod. So here you go. Hello, I am Mango Walter at this mod, and I personally thank you very much for downloading. This is version 1.73, the grand release. What you will notice within this update, besides new content everywhere, you will notice that all descriptions of all units and objects are updated to match the UV mod perfectly, and each and every faction's hotkeys, artificial intelligence, and much more are all balanced in nice and tight. As you'll wish, so shall Please it Please read be the done. change log. For version 1.73 of this mod, the change log is huge. Keep an eye out for version 1.74 as well. As the well Emperor the protects. We'll get through this. I know it. And Chaos Demons, 100% apocalypsed, and we're here. Yes, ready in game now for apocalypse. We worked on I'll version 1.73 for over a year, and 1.73 is the best stable release thus far, guaranteed. Have fun, kick butt, and please check out our home pages at Rogue TV, the Steam Home Group, and finally check us out on Facebook. Also, donate to speak up for a release for version 1.74. Thank you for downloading this mod. You will be guaranteed epicness unlike ever before. So there you go. It took him over a year to make this patch. I can build squad leaders now because we just teched up. Fantastic. Let's get us a mortar team. I'm be trying to do some checking up myself. Get you guys in a unit. Got a medic over here. Medic does, of course, what you think it does. It heals its squad that's attached to and any squads close enough, which makes them super useful. So useful. Oh. Uh, mechanized command. Tyranid are doing their weird thing to me. Yeah. Um, where is it? I don't see the cloud. Uh, it's above my entire base. Oh, there it goes. Yep. Yeah, they were doing this to me earlier, and I'm not really sure what it does. I assume it's some type of debuff. Yeah, I don't know what it's doing, but I know I don't like it, so... Oh, shit. There goes that conscript squad. If, if they could go ahead and stop doing it, I'd be much much more impressed. Is th what, what is this? Uh-oh. I'm, like, under heavy attack over here. Shoot him. I may have to pull back to my base defense. Yeah, I gotta pull back to my base defense. So a new button here, there's like an infantry control panel and they have a run button and now you guys can sprint to run away. They can also, this is for Imperial Guards, they're different for every race. Uh, my guys can bolster defense by actually digging in and putting sandbags down. Doesn't look like they're gonna make it though. They got pretty tore up. She made it back though, that's good. What are you doing? Fall back. We need to replenish the troops. Always good to put your men on stand ground if they're ranged or they're just rushing like a bunch of maniacs. <clears throat> Ooh, anti tank yeah, or mortar teams? Mortar teams. They don't uh, fare too well if they just run in there. Build some tanks. Got some tanks building. They got a new tank that you can start with. They always had the Chimera, but it doesn't have a real turret on top. I think it always had like a flame turret. They've got the assault version though, with the actual cannon. But I highly recommend starting out with a couple of those while you're trying to build your way up to tier three. As you wish, so shall it be. Now to get to tier two, we have it. You have to build the uh, tank vehicle. Building. Let's move up the tanks. How you doing over there? Oh, holding them off. They got a hive tyrant shooting at you. Yes, they do. Dig in, troops. There you go. They just dug in behind their sandbags. She's keeping their morale up, which is good. Uh, I'm going to have to get some more turrets built up over here. They broke all mine. Jerks. Move up, man. <laughs> you jerks. Dig it in. You're not going anywhere, hive tyrant. You're really just not. The models for the new units are awesome. I mean, just absolutely awesome. I wonder if I put you guys in this tank, if you can use these little side turrets. Let's find out. Yep. 
The turrets are firing away. That's cool. Heavy flamers. Yeah, let's upgrade to those. Or maybe he just added a heavy flamer to it. I don't know. Oh, the line. It's still a transport, though, and they gave it a real cannon. Really? Yeah, decent range, too. It's shooting all the way out to that strategic point we just lost. Second tank is done. Roll on up. Let's put these guys in here and roll this up into this cover. I don't think cover works on tanks, but you know what, why not? We'll put them in there anyways. Now, to go up to the next level, we have to have a... Well, first, this one has to finish researching. 99, 100. Now I can get Vox operatives. Vox, guys, this is a new addition to the mod. Radio operators. You can call in airstrikes. And we'll go ahead and get the Vindicator Temple going, too. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, I love airstrikes. Airstrikes, and to get up to the next level, you have to have a communications tower. This, best addition for the Imperial Guard. It's it's so cool. You can build aircraft. Like, actually, the transports and stuff, you can build the, uh, the gunships. Let's get us a Vox operator up, and let's get a Keskrin Quarters. I'm pretty sure that's the Special Operations Group. Like you're being hit again. I am. Heavy infantry starting out. 3.5 durability and 3.5 strength. So one squad of these is worth like two of mine. It's a good thing too because they're expensive. But what you're fighting is just as strong. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> Looks like you could use some backup. I would just say no to it. Armor's coming up. Looks like another one of your infantry squads just finished. You know, we're here. We're here to save you. It's cool. Imperial Guard rolling up. We even bring flamethrowers. What is it doing to that guy? <laughs> There you go. I, now, there's an option now, and I really like this, because this I think this is a hero unit, the Hive Tyrant. There's an option to turn yeah, off heroes. Because yeah. I kind of find heroes to be obnoxious. They have a lot of health, they can sit there and like respawn where they died, some of them. They're a little annoying. And now, you, if you want to just fight with infantry and normal troops that don't have 10 billion health, you can turn off the heroes, which is pretty cool. Pretty damn cool. All right, Basilisk Depot, let's do this. Let's get the big tanks out. And where's my Vox operator? Go, so the Vox guy, let's zoom in on him. With his big old radio backpack. Has... Strangers. Strafing runs, Valkyrie bombing run. I haven't gotten the demolition charges. And they have rally too. Oh, I didn't know they had rally. That's cool. Continue to get our upgrades going. And like I said with the aircraft, let's test it out. We'll build ourselves a bomber and we'll start researching the transports. Oh, it's a damn range of theirs. A challenge worthy of my skill. And I'll pop down some walls so you guys can see what the walls look like. The ones are cool because they'll actually attack them, and it'll hold them in place while you can take them out with other units. Because the original game didn't have any wall-like structures. Give me two basilisks. Uh, let's get ourselves a special operations group. The Kaskins? Kaskins? Somebody tell me how to say that. Because I honestly don't know. We need tier three to get the tank command going. Because we have mechanized command right now. Nice, you going for all the, all the giant tanks, huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. I haven't chose to do the specialization yet, because I'm not sure which way I want to go. Right. I'm going to move my tanks, my artillery up to the, uh, the hillside. 
to s watch both our backs. There they are. There you go. This is like the Spec Ops squad. I'm digging their helmets. I really like them. I'm also going to give them a Vox Operator to join their squad. Check that squad out. Oh, yeah. Why can't I do... Requires tactical control. I didn't build tact... They must have blown it up. Huh. No, not field command. We want tactical control. Yeah. Because this is the, uh, the research. Oh. Big gun sees somebody. Yeah, I heard that thing firing off. Boom. This is one of the reasons why you need to be able to zoom out like this far. Ooh, Cause it's because they're, uh, they got a sport chimney on that relic over by you. Yeah, I'm taking the tanks out to deal with it. That way he's sitting there firing at actual enemies and not just this building the entire time. Speaking of which, we got another artillery tank finished. Let's move a little closer. There we go. Now the machine guns are in range. Infantry. Let's get you guys some melted guns and some plasma guns and a sergeant properly outfitted and equipped. This is also a new a new addition to so the communication tower, which that building wasn't even in the game before. I can tell these guys to get in here. Now that spec op squad is loaded up and good to go. Ooh, gunship, let's do that. Now, wherever I can see, I'm gonna make these guys a squad. Much like the, keep going, keep going, keep going. Bomber, take that out. Bombing run. Boom. Oh, they've got troops down there. So that's not going to work. Let's find a place to land these guys. Well, just to be... Just to show the example. We're going to deep strike. But instead of dropping in from orbit, they actually land from a dropship. Wow, we got a wave coming in our way. Yeah, I've been fighting off a uh, pretty steady wave over here. Oh boy. I can't... I can Valkyrie bomb them. Let's do it, Valkyrie bomb them. Run! Run! <laughs> Fall back! Oh, there's behind the walls. Range. There's the research to get the walls upgraded. Get the hell out of there! On standby. We'll see you For the Imperium of Man. Tell you what, some of these Tyranid units got some really long range. Do a little research here. Yeah, they've got new like artillery <laughs> units. Here they come! Oh, I gotta be chasing my dudes. Get back we'll inside the walls. The Sweet, I can build the Marauders now. Nice. And let's get a tank command online. Power. Did it build it? It's building it now. So, the or Marauder, the Medusa is what I'm building. Medusa Barrage Artillery. It doesn't have the range of the Basilisk, but I think the, uh, the weapon itself is actually a hell of a lot stronger. Let's see. Yeah, strength is seven, durability is six. It's got more durability, but it has less range. And now I can build the Lehman Russ variants as well. So let's build two Lehman Russ battle tanks. You guys can see the difference between the two. And scan the enemy base. Ooh, there's the Hive Spire. Way in there. I'm surprised they haven't rushed us. They keep trying on my side, but I've got these turrets fortified now and a little army over here. Which is really nice. These obelisks, I don't know if you notice, I got really good range with these things. Oh, I haven't looked yet. <clears throat> I'm just looking at my uh, my tank command center. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, they're and right my rounds. your tanks shooting over there. My rounds coming in. Oh, yeah, I see it. They're coming down that hill and just getting slammed. 
Yeah. Get back in here. Stupid tank. <laughs> yeah, we're just wrecking their day. <laughs> yeah, it takes a minute to get the... Uh... Get the Necron up there, but once you get them up there, they're, they're usually pretty set. There's the Medusa. I just built it. It's at my walls. Nice. Stop. Go ahead and deploy. This is the worst place to deploy this thing. No, nah, no, nah, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I'm bringing him back to you where you're at. That gigantic yeah. cannon. Uh, yeah, because you're being shot in the ass by something. Extra speed. I could just see what that thing was called, but it looked hideous. So, you know, right up there, Ali. <laughs> Alright, let's get some battle armor. Thing. I like they got new music for this, too. There you go. Here's one of the new tanks the Lehman Ross Annihilator. And that's just one of the basic ones. This building over here, all it does is build the, uh, the good old Lehman Ross, but like 50 different versions of it. So, here's the Marauder, the, uh, the Vanquisher, the Conqueror. Ooh, the Exterminator, double-barreled. Let's build that. Looks like it's double-barreled. That... Anything with double-barrel in it. <laughs> oh, look, they're doing that air raid thing on me again. We'll also build one of the, um... Oh, what the hell are these things called? Earthshaker platforms. All right, we're pretty much just playing with the building types, figuring out what what does what. There you go, there's the Annihilator. With the dual three barrel, actually. It's got barrel on the bottom, too. It's good strength, or damage output it's got. Let's make you stand ground. And you need to stand ground, too, or you're gonna keep running around like a maniac. I don't think this Tyranid, Tyranid Horde is gonna make it. I don't see the issue with that at all. That's rough. They're getting jacked up. Oh, here we go. This is the exterminator version. Yeah, this is the dual-barreled one. Well, they just keep bombing me now. <laughs> Heavy stubber upgrade? I think they're pissed. What? Flamers all over the place. Ooh, ooh, you got a big old one up there. He ain't making it. What's up? Uh-oh. Why are my troops running out there? My infantry decided to go for, like, a walk. Or did I lose a tank? I lost a tank. Not good. Let's move one of these guys. Lost two tanks. It looks like. Oh, my poor infantry. Give him an airstrike. Actually, give him two airstrikes. The Vox guy's calling it in. Did he call it in? Damn, I don't think he got it in before he died. That's too bad. I lost two tanks now. Ouch. Make that three tanks. Demolisher, Eradicator, and the Vanquisher. Let's build those three tanks. And let's get some heavy infantry in. Out of power. So power plants will actually start to lose the um, the ability to generate tar large amounts of power. They'll actually burn out. You have to destroy them and rebuild them, which I think was a function of the original game. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah. Oh, it's done. I got the uh, the Earthshaker platform. Oh, oh, oh! What is this Trigon? Um, I think Ty Trigon. Yeah, I think that's uh, one of their biggest. It might be one of their relic units, dude. I'm not doing anything to that. <clears throat> yeah, I just sent everybody I got to go, uh, go deal with that, because that's no bueno. Yeah, I'm moving up troops now. Because they're taking out the walls. They did take out the walls. Uh, I don't know what they're doing to us, but there's yellow crap everywhere. Yeah. They're infecting our troops. Look at this sucker. He's got like a stub nose. Snub nose. I'm being attacked by a giant brainworm. I just screwed with this greatly. Huh. Yeah. You must die. He's hitting you, you now, but it looks like now. you're getting him. 
You're taking him down. What's this one? This one is the Eradicator. What? I like that one. Hi. I just plain don't like your face. <laughs> Make a haul, troops. Your whole damn face. I don't like it. And they come again. Another swarm. I'm still dealing with this damn big bastard. I really want to get this Mars pattern command up. This is how I build my relic unit. Oh, I gotta get more power ooh, plants. He's going oh. down. Is he dying? Because he's gonna go down. There he is. Well, he's got like all the artillery focus firing on him. Okay, he's down. Oh, that's what that upgrade is. It gives the uh, machine gun on the top. Like the Browling 50 cal, and these guys what just go into the town. What the hell just happened back here? Uh-oh. Got a oh. Carnifex pushing through. They, they just bombed the crap out of my power plants. That's not good. No, it wasn't. This Carnifex is hurting me. I need a Bane Blade. Not enough power. It requires 740. Damn. Let's get some power plants up here. Get in there, boys. Now. Yay, mass resurrection. Oh, you did it? <laughs> yes, I did. Just picked up a bunch of my, uh, my dead. Yeah, so explain those abilities to uh, how they work in this game. Apparently, the Necron never really die. So I've got one uh, one building here, the energy beacon, has mass resurrection ability. So all of the dead within a certain range around the building, it'll just turn them back on, make them stand back up. Yeah, that's so pretty can, badass. You can get all the way up to your build cap, hit that, and just have way over your build cap because you just revived a bunch of them. <laughs> nice. Oh, I want more mortar teams. That's probably an upgrade. Genetic enhancements. Sniper training. Heavy weapons increase. Yes, please. Oh, man. Come on, Bane Blade. What do I need now? Oh, 305. Almost there. Boom. Bane Blade is building. I need you guys to move. Now I gotta focus on some economy. <laughs> oh. I took out one of my turrets. They managed to take down one of my turrets, and another one of my tanks is down. Look, do you see this field of bodies out here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. You will have it. Uh, you little bastards, <laughs> just lucky. You lucky I can't bring this pyramid online. Ah, uh, turret. I can't build a turret because I'm broke. I need to put my money into research. Here they come. Oh, oh, Push them through dog. again. Oh, boy. Come on, just gotta live long enough for this to finish. Gotta hold the line, gentlemen. Hold the line. Where's my bomber? Is my bomber? Yes, it's a gunship. Gunship can spot for the rest of the artillery, too, because you can see so far out. Good, good, good. Looks like everything's in order, sir. Oh, it doesn't seem to have a very large view radius. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. There it goes. Just took a minute to update. Executing your orders, sir. Hive tyrants. Get this thing back Eleven on barrels there. of hell. Oh, Sounds good to me. Do it. <laughs> oh, not, not a lot of damage. I think it has a ton of health, though. It is... Completed, isn't it? What? Why isn't it coming out? Oh, it is finished. I choose where it goes. So hey, guess what? Look at the fuel of bodies. Yeah. Huh. Hello, drop plane. And they changed how he comes out. Now he flies in on that thing. Oh, and he immediately just started shooting the shit out of that guy. There we go. Beautiful. All right, that should hold. I don't want to rush in and try to kill their base just yet because the people, we gotta get the big stuff out. 
I'm, I haven't even got a relic yet. I can't even make my pyramid stand out yet. Oh, that's sad. I've got to like get this, a relic. That this thing's is the normal, the normal relic unit for the Imperial Guard, right? There are six versions of this. All of which are really disgusting. Yeah, just absolutely disgusting. Good for different things. Let's turn them around. But that's not even, what the hell? Your beam dudes, what are these guys? Oh, with the uh, the laser eyes? Yeah. Snipers. What? The death mark. Okay, that is cool. Yeah, they have very long range. Uh, mark squad for death. All targets marked will become more vulnerable to ranged fire, and they also have another ability, hunters from space. Time support ability. <laughs> That's pretty epic. Oh, it phases them out of the universe. Is this guy just too close and I can't shoot at him or what? Shoot at him, take him down. It's Carnifex, it's driving me crazy. Okay, just be, uh, just seem to be giving some problems over there. He is, he really is. Oh, revive time. Power increase. I need to do this research, so we need a bit more cash. All right, he's down again. Needs to stay down. Jerk. Valkyrie bombing run. Do it. There he is. Boom. Makes them all go flying. All right. So, what we're trying to build is this Titan assembly bunker is what I want to build. Fairly expensive, the unit that's gonna come out of it. First, we have to get up to Imperial Victory Tier 4. So, my build limit is 22, right? Yeah. You know what I'm currently sitting at? What's 31. That? What? Just pull oh, you, re you res yep. your dead, didn't you? <laughs> nice. Got, got those lazy bastards right back up. Oh, the snipers. All right, we're starting to take that out. Yeah, Could I, any I alive think I'm gonna infantry? go take yes. this damn uh, relic. Is what I'm gonna do, because I want this. <laughs> Which one? I, I want it, can I have? Uh, this guy right here. Okay, well I'm gonna take over this one that's to our right. Because I'm gonna need it to build a Titan. Yeah, if I can just get the pyramid up even, that's gonna help us a lot with holding them back. So we, you know can have time to build the real toys. Yeah. I'm also gonna get some new walls down. And I'm gonna have to start repairing my, uh... No, 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 you're good, you're good, you're good, stay there. Keep him covered. I'll keep moving my gunship to cover you. While I get out... What do you think, think I mad. should build? Ah, da, 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 da. I need to save my money is what I need to do. Stop bringing car effects. 660. Let's get this taken out. Taken over. Yeah, if I didn't know any better, I'd see these guys were really mad. Trying to get those resources. I need to up this, and then we can finally research the, um, the Titan. Get the Titan factory up. The giant max. That's what I want to build. Take him down. I am all about that. Uh, you should be able to take that. Yeah, take yeah, that. Yeah, I got um, a guy coming relic. over. I got one of my little scarab units, just so they can make it over there. Can your normal troops not take over it? Nope. Really? Wow. Has to be a scarab. We did it, sir. Brood lords, rushing you. I don't think my scarab made it. Where'd you go, Look little guy? Look out! Here they come. So, pretty much just waiting now to get the resources. There we go. Doing the research. Bring out the big toy. Oh yeah. Need the big guns. The big ass cannons. They're just ignoring my gunship. This is fantastic. <laughs> they just don't even care. They're just whatever. Yeah. He's just hanging out, just shooting stuff. Simply wonderful. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, yeah, build the transport. 
Why not? Because let's build some... Conscripts, do they still cost money? Huh. I must have to do some research to make them free. There they are. There's the research to make them free. Now it costs money to reinforce them. It doesn't cost anything to build them though. So I can keep my build cap of infantry constant and just rush them in. To keep the Tyranid on their toes. Where is my builder unit? Go in here and repair this guy. Let's lock it down. That is building. I need some hey, you power there. plants, whatever they need. Getting your power plants online. Yar. What are the ranges of this gigantic Earthshaker? Oh, oh! Well, that'll make it easy to rebuild a bunch of my power plants. What's that? They just blew them all up. Yeah, no. No real big deal, they just blew them all up. Jerks. Jerks. <laughs> Jerk face. That's goddamn jerks. Alright, what do yeah, we got? Seriously, yeah. who the hell does this? Bombing Air raids the guy's power plant, what a dick. Uh, you son of a bitch, I was downloading music. God. Why would you do that? Titan Assembly Bunker. That's what we're going for, and we're almost there. We need a thousand resources. We should have them fairly quickly. If I just stop spending money. I, I, I don't I don't get it. Here, strike that guy. Oh, I missed. Hold the line. For the God Emperor. <laughs> For that dude! Anti-tank rocket? Yes, please. Let's see this thing. I love as as everything it you just said to me. <laughs> Holy crap, it's bigger than he is. And his buddy with the rocket launch, <laughs> the actual rocket ammo next to him. I like it. I'm digging it. You guys need a medic, don't you? Shall yeah. Or how about a general? I haven't built my general yet. I don't like the heroes. That's why I didn't bother building the general. There you go, being all angry about that. Again. I liked it when I could get abilities for it, but it doesn't seem that uh, that's a thing anymore. Huh. So here's what I just built. This is the transport. I actually get to keep this. What's really badass about it is, one, I can fill it with troops, and I can fill it with... Do, 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 do. These little chicken walkers. Do, so. Do, do, do. Load it up. I can also... Drop it behind enemy lines and produce ground troops from it. Still trying to work on the little song. <laughs> Why? You don't like my song? St still trying to register the little song, yes. Do, 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 do. That's my command song. Helps me think. So, what I like to do is to harass my enemy. I gotta find a nice, really just horrible place to put this. Here we go. Click on your main HQ. Scan the back area of their base. Sir, yes, sir. Find where there's nothing out there. And then tell your plane to take off and go back there. He just took off. He's gonna come in from orbit. And remember how I said the Imperial conscripts are free now? You heard the man. <laughs> Auto build oh, this oh, direction. This is me. <laughs> so and now they're just gonna auto build. I, I feel like they should all be floating and giant weapon platforms. I agree. You, your thoughts. You, you agree? You think this is a good I, idea? I think this is a fantastic idea. Ah, well, hey, I'm, I'm glad you think so, because it's a thing. Let's <laughs> go so ahead and unload the troops that I actually brought, too. So I'm attacking their base now. Got my gunship back there. Um, now you're just being mean. I'm building troops in their base, and then right click, watch the units grow. They suck, but there's gonna be like 300 of them. Eh, that's what she said. Now, that's not actually gonna kill them. Once they turn their army around, they're going to just obliterate us. But, now. <laughs> it's, it's 
really damn irritating, though. Well, yeah, for them. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put an HQ out here. Hey, get all the builders working on it. How's, how's it going? I'm prepping to build a Titan. I have a pyramid floating next to you. Hello, pyramid floating next to me. I need a field command because I want to put the Titan outpost right next to where your pyramid is. <laughs> um, this looks like what I thought was their base is actually just a uh, a resource point. Really? Yeah. Not nearly as many as I thought was here. The Emperor protects. But um, there's like the seven protects. squads of infantry now back here, here. auto-producing for free. <laughs> Reporting, sir. We're here. Sir, we're I mean, you can here. see like we're how many of them are there, protects. and look at how much damage we're doing. It's kind of pathetic for the six million of us that there are. And by kind, I mean it really is. They're infected with something, so they're starting to die. Yes, <laughs> they're starting uh, to die off. Awesome. Plenty more where that came from. That's the uh, that's the guardman motto. Don't, don't worry, we'll just breed. Don't worry, we'll just replace you. Oh. <laughs> oh, There's nothing hey. acceptable about this conversation any longer, and I no longer wish to be a part of it. Good day, sir. The general's done. I, I bid you good day. I bid you good day, sir. I, I good said, day. I said good day, you son of a bitch. Titan Bunker is about to go up. Oh, I can't wait to get this sucker up. I'll huh. build it on the corpses of my enemies. That's yeah, that's a little morbid there, buddy. Maybe you uh maybe calm that shit down a little, huh? Meh. 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 Oh damn it. Get out of my way. I can't there we go. Build it. <laughs> How are we doing over here? Still destroying them. <laughs> I'm actually really surprised we have all these infantry still alive down here. I mean, a good couple of units can take these guys out, and they haven't attacked. Has the AI surrendered? Nope. They're attacking you. Hey. That's ridiculous. Constantly under attack. Uh, they must. That must be a thing for them. Hmm. Masochist. may have to research that. Scan their base. Oh, they've got units in that base up north. I am constantly under a cloud of whatever the hell that is, and I don't like it. More guardsmen. How many of them are you now? You got 30, 60, 70, 80, 90, yeah, about 100 men. Individual units on the ground. So unselect them all so I can zoom in. You can actually see the numbers here. This seems legit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yes. Fine. Oh, I love it. Way too many of you people down there with your little laser rifles. Yep. Yes, it's it's cool. Fear not. I'll defend the bases. I got my Titan up there. Super tank firing away while we wait for our um, our actual mechs to finish building. My mech to finish building. All right, the base is done. This is something that he's changed in the recent. Oh, I don't have the money. I'm short. I'm short relic points. Oh, really? All right. Yeah, I'm researching it now. Where's yeah, my builders? Cause I'm uh -oh. actually short to build my um, build my siege. Pyramid, because you know I need three or four different types of pyramid. Of course you do. Yeah, because why not? That's a thing. <laughs> you used to only get this. Oh, because of moving reasons. around. Now you get like the siege one. You get oh, just all kinds of crazy shit. Oh yeah, about to start. It's pretty fantastic. Siege one here after uh, not too long. I just got to get one more relic <laughs> point. Every time an infantryman dies, he gets replaced almost immediately. Every time an infantryman dies, an angel gets his wings. That's a lot of wings. Yeah, they just kind of hand them out. <laughs> Pass them out like candy these days, but yeah, whatever. Oh, they're all going to get eaten by this giant carnifex. 
Oh, oh, blood everywhere. It's horrible. And immediately, all their morale has been broken. First guy gets morale chopped in half, that? and there goes the morale. <laughs> oh, you guys have morale? I'm so sorry. What do we do? You, you guys just keep fighting until it dies or you die. I don't really care either way. Yeah. Just keep them busy. Just make more of them. Research is almost done on this uh, relic. So the way you get these relic points, this research thing up here, relic resource, uh, at least for the Imperial Guard so far, is there's a certain amount of money. As long as you own a relic, you can do research, and you'll get these points, and that'll allow you to buy things like more... I could build the Storm Lord. I could build the uh, Titanicus. I could build the Storm Hammer. Uh, and it takes, this one takes three relic points. But we're saving them up. We need four to build the Imperial Warhound Titan, the smaller of the two Titans. But I think one of the most badass looking units in this game. He's even made this really cool bunker. It's completely animated. Before you just put it down and then it would build. You'd see the Titan there, but it wasn't active and you'd have to let it build until it became active. Um, this thing is like chewing up my tank. Oh, nope. It, it's almost dead. Nope. That thing is still eating my infantry over here. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna start upgrading these infantry, or at least filling out their numbers. If what? If a hundred troops couldn't do it, maybe three hundred can do it. <laughs> really? That's the philosophy we're going with. <laughs> That's the strategy we're going with. Yes. Wow. Look at all of those people shooting. It, you know what? It's like the Japanese shooting at Godzilla. Godzilla! They just keep oh. doing it, but nothing's really going on. They have reinforcements, but they're not bringing them in because, you know what? They know they don't need them. Look at that. 2040, 40, 60, 70, 80, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 140, 150 plus. I don't know. I just. I give up accounting. You know what's beautiful about this? My siege pyramid's done. I could land him right with your people if you needed. I kind of want to see if two, three hundred people can actually take this thing down. That's the only reason he didn't teleport in there. I could teleport him anywhere I could see, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so ridiculous. Speaking of which, he's right outside. They're producing. They're producing faster than he can kill them. Now this is costing me money though. Like this isn't a bug or anything. I'm not like, I'm not, all of this is keeping him busy and killing him really, really slowly. So it is balanced. If they would just bring in these troops up north, they could actually take this group. It would just take them time and cost me money because it costs me 12 resource for every one guy. And I just built how many? 700 of them? I don't know. Some crazy large number. But really, it's all just a holding strategy until I can build this, which we need 2,000 more requisition points. Almost there. Looks like you're under attack up there. Oh, this siege monolith just <laughs> cracks me up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm under attack, all right. <laughs> I'll be all right. <laughs> I think you've got this. Uh, I I think I'll be okay. Excuse me. But yes, I am very much under attack. That's what we want to call it. Just, just uh, stop building. Stop building troops, please. Just don't do that anymore. <laughs> we killed it. You, you're shitting me. We killed it, and now we're gonna rush in. Wow. Yes, sir. That's actually Not because we're gonna win. But because I want this to run smoother when the Titan's finished, so we need to clear the screen of 300 troops. Get in there, my distraction. I'm getting eight frames a second because there's too many of you on the screen at once. Ouch. <laughs> oh, man. And Fraps is running. If Fraps wasn't running, this would be running perfectly smooth. Yeah, you seem to run into that issue with Fraps. Well, it's very, it's really system intensive. Uh, right, we have enough. Oh, yeah. Yes, we do. There is I'm a, beginning to build the Titan. There's a billion things going on, but... The Emperor has abandoned us! The Emperor has abandoned us! Well, you know what? We are the Emperor has abandoned us! It is time we started acting like it! 
Oh, uh, man. Bad news. The Emperor didn't like you to begin with. We're leaving. You're out. Oh, I'm pulling back my uh, my dropship. They're actually, they're still alive. The top. Ooh, no. Those numbers are going down really fast. <laughs> they're they're kind of getting pwned, and they, we're just kind of feeding the Tyranid Swarm. They'll, they'll be fine, I'm sure. I have the utmost faith in them and their ability. Yes, yes, <laughs> utmost faith. 50% on the Titan. Oh, I can't wait. This is probably run smoother too if I didn't have uh, persistent bodies on. But, but you need to have <laughs> the, pile, the corpses. The piles. And the poor Imperial Guardsmen that didn't make it. Oh, the 364th. Downed everywhere. The Dagger Wolves. <laughs> they're fine, I'm telling you, they're good. Yeah, they're good. Everything's right. fine here. Um, so out of all those troops, we now have 12 left. We'll get through this, I know it. 12 we'll heroes. This, heroes, I, I say. We're gonna go pick them up. So I'm, Get over here for extraction. I'm building an amazing power plant that's incredibly dangerous to build as well. Come on, where's that extraction? Yeah, tell us about the uh, that, that unit. Um, it's the heavy thermoplasma go, go, generator. Go, 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 go. Gives Get you a there. massive boost into power, so basically everything I use for money and resources. The only problem is, if it blows up, we'll pretty much kill everything in 75 meter radius of it. So when it explodes, you know, it kills everything. All the That's things. if they takes like the e the smallest damage. Oh, the Titan is done, dude. Nice. So I'm gonna give it orders to just attack, attack, move straight to their base. Ah. Uh. Uh, the audio for the Titan cracks me up. I just love it. I'm pretty sure Samadoth are doing it too. Yeah. Now, bear in mind. Oh, I'm gonna lose this uh, Bane Blade if I don't pull him back. Yeah. He'll be fine. He got the Titan. He'll be alright. I could upgrade him to Inferno Cannons too, but I kind of like these auto guns he gets. Those are new. The sound effect and the visual effect yeah, are kinda, pretty new and very nasty. cool. Just upgraded one side so he gets the uh, the laser cannons now. The beams. Sweet. His shield is actually taking some hits. The Omnisire guides our step. All right, man. Go ahead and begin your assault if you want. They are Indeed, I Stop them. Up. Stop them out of the way. Squish. Redeployment underway. Take him down. Inferno cannon or double turbo laser? Double turbo laser. I don't know what that is. It sounds pretty Ooh, epic. And squish him. Turbo man. <clears throat> it's turbo man. Oh no, his shields went down. I may have to build the big one. Really? Yeah, they just dropped his shields. Nah. Oh no, I can't. Why can't I do the research for more points? By the Emperor, you will have it. I mean, he is like doing all the work on his own. His shields are back up. Wow. Plasma the burst gun. The uh, thermal plasma out. generator takes a very long time to build. Sir, yes, sir. Of the I have an armada. Yes, an armada of builders. And it's, <laughs> it's so slow. <laughs> I love this thing so much. I want one. You you can't have one. Look at it. I want no, one. I don't want to look at it. It disgusts Best me. Donovore mod ever. Geneva Convention. Just broke the crap out of it. I'm all right with that. It's too cool to just. I want one. I want it. All right. Well, while he's going in and kicking the shit and everything, let's build a storm hammer because we can. Huh. Because of the reasons. Of the and I'm building the plasma blast gun. Hopefully he stays alive long enough to actually use it. His shield's about to fail again. 
Fools. Fools. Squish him. Squish him all. Squish. <laughs> we go as it looks like he has a problem with dealing with threats that are close. Look at the size of him. He can't aim Strategy down at those. Fair enough. All right, I'm gonna keep marching him then. Relocate. I could use backup though. You're running away from backup and, you know, Necron. Call us those being nice. That takes a lot of energy. A lot of energy Squish. and a fairly decent recharge in between. Oh, he got his gun. The Omnissiah guides our step. Fire all the pew pew. Boom. Wow. Okay, so that cannon is cool. We're gonna go after his buildings. Oh, sick. I want one of these. Holy crap, they popped out of the ground, dude. It was a trap. Oh, squish. I'm squishing bugs. <laughs> wow, look at them all. Wow, they're actually doing some serious damage to this poor guy. I'm never gonna get to build my Titan. <laughs> it takes too damn long. Well, my Titan might die if I don't get another, get him some backup. Where's my uh, drop ship? Oh, the Emperor. You will have it. Ah, oh, man. All right, you do have backup. I will send them in, and then I'll start building troops back here if I can. Squish them, so we can walk again. Squish. Strategic redeployment underway. Let's keep breaking all this stuff. Oh, that minigun. So cool. Ooh, Stormhammer's done. And I can fly him into the battle. Fear. Fear not. The Stormhammer has arrived. Fear not the Necron are here, but yeah. Dude, look at this tank. Four. It's got quad barrels on it. What the hell? Why let's squish them all? <laughs> I'm going after their hive spire. You, you make me sick. Attack move. I'm just ordering them to attack move so you can come up here. I, I love that I have all these pyramids and I haven't even built my titan. <laughs> Won't be able to in this game either. It would be long hmm. over before I build that. Well, my titan's about to go down. It makes you feel better. Get to see how one of these die. I've never actually watched one explode. Oh, there he goes. Oh, that makes me horribly, horribly nervous about life in general. The <laughs> oh! You should be scared. We have to get to the hive, or they're gonna keep producing sh um, ships. <laughs> this isn't sins. <laughs> we have to get to the hive so they'll stop producing these damn bugs. Hive spire. That sounds important. Oh, this is their HQ. Bring it down. I'm gonna back us up with some artillery. This, this seems like one of those places where I would break something. Yes, my lord. Prepare to break things. Break all the things. Huh. Murder death kill. Trying to get some reinforcements in. You, you've got all the reinforcements you need. <laughs> There's two. You can always use a few more troops. The Emperor protects. Yes, Yay, Imperial Conscripts, because when you need reinforcements, those are not the ones you asked for. Uh, no. No, but those, those were the most cost efficient ones to send you. Holy crap, so that giant plasma generator? Still not done. So shall it be done. Great, really? Yep. Slow ass tanks. Help. My Great Pyramid is building faster than that thing is. However, I want to see how much my power um, is going to go up by. I'm sitting at like plus 113 right now. Yeah. I'm just about to finish. So I'm hoping I just start pouring in money. Or in this case, you know, power. Whatever. Right. Don't judge. <sighs> Batteries. Bringing in reinforcements. We could use more troops. Oh, oh. Holy crap! It's a wow! So it just shot up to 271. I'm pulling in a lot of energy very rapidly now. I love these transport planes they bring in. Constant reinforcements. 
These guys are cool. These are my heavy infantry. Big dudes. Let's get us an oh, airstrike. I, I might actually here. be able to do it. Oh, yeah? I've got the money and everything. I just gotta build one more of these towers to get another relic point. I can build it. Nice. I may actually be able to get it on the field. May. Maybe. What do we got? I built something up here? No. But I can. Stormhammer, Shadow Sword, Titanicus. I don't know what to build. Mmm. I'm not gonna be building the new Titan. Oh, hey, my other super tank is alive and well. Oh! Take out the building. I'm, I'm getting attacked by one of their relic units, the little bastards. Where? <clears throat> my pyramid's being attacked by that Tigon. Where is he? Behind the pyramid. There's so many pyramids. Oh, yeah, I see him. Yeah, yeah I was like, you, you might have to. It's hard to see angle. him in the explosions. Hard to see him in those explosions, but you know. Yeah. Yeah, those pyramids are pretty awesome. Pretty epic. Speaking of epic, Doomsday Monolith being built right now. <laughs> these guys. So check these guys out. Early on in the game, you could build these. Um, they are the heavy weapons team. And they had them in the original game. But they're just so cool. Don't, don't let the game end yet. <laughs> just, just. Last cannon, auto cannon, auto cannon. Um, I don't really have a lot of control over it. They've still got a bunch of infantry running around. We're honored by your trust. What they call infantry. You know where to go. Don't where do you want us, sir? Uh, pack it up. Where do you want us, sir? And Big load it up. Ready to fire. Now oh, we can drop them in someplace. Like here looks good. Oh. oh. Reinforcements inbound. Over halfway down. For the Imperium of Man. The Imperium, you say? We will not falter. We will not fail. But you might get eaten. But you might get eaten. Eat. Horribly, horribly maimed is a good possibility. Pretty damn good. <laughs> Actually, take it. Take it from him. Don't let him keep that. Uh, looks like they've got a couple of buildings up here, but we pretty much won this. Why are they getting all these infantry? I just want to be able must to be a building get down this here. thing, uh, shown deploying in. Okay. Also... How far are you away from um, spawning the thing? It's over 75% done. Also, if you look like, uh, your tank and that relic you guys are attacking... Which one? Oh, never mind. I lied. I can't do it out that far. I was gonna just randomly open up a portal to the uh, homeworld of these guys. Oh, huh. but instead, that's where I'm gonna drop the uh, the doomsday one. Is flag it? Uh, where are we this heavy tank is just going to town. Let me know when you ping it. Right, right down here in front of here. Yep. Ready and willing, sir. You can go this. for it. You looking there? We're ready to You're looking there right now. Sir. Coming, coming in right on top of your guys. Whoa. Ah! Ha, 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 ha. Yes, I would like to look around the map. Look at this oh. thing. And it actually deploys. That sucks, dude. Because oh. it was going to like unfold and stuff, wasn't it? Um, As I recall, <laughs> yeah, it opens up and then it gets a group <gasps> of pyramids around it. Well, look, look at the infantry compared to this thing. The doomsday Son monolith. Of. Let's read it. <laughs> It's got a durability and strength of 15, and of course, that's, uh, wow. Damn it. All right, guys, well, that wraps up this Let's Play. <laughs> if you're looking a for a mod of epic scale, if you wanna play Dawn of War in a whole new way, in a whole new light with all new units that fit in with the artwork of the original game, this one. I mean, I, I, if you own this game, you owe it to yourself to play this mod. It's it's fantastic. 364th representing the Imperium of Man. What what? For the Emperor. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and if you want to see another Let's Play, uh, maybe us fighting some orcs or switching up the um, 
what races we're playing as. Let us know in the comments below. It was good times. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Indeed, indeed. As always, I really do appreciate it. And it's fun times. I do, I love these snipers. What, what, which one? Oh, the, the laser, laser eyes. Terminator guys? Yeah, no, they're awesome. Those are new, right? Yeah, yeah, those were added in by the mod. That's so cool. They're freaking laser, because it shoots like across the map. Oh yeah, no, they have an incredibly long range. Is that representative of their actual range? Because that's insane. They can shoot all the way over to my tank. You know, I don't know if they fire as far as the I beam goes or not, honestly. I, they should. I've never seen exactly how far out they'll shoot. That's the thing. It's like constantly experimenting with the units and figuring out exactly how best to use them is uh, one of the challenges of this mod because there's so much stuff. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and I uh, look forward to reading the comments. Later, later.